but he was still 100% God and 100% man. And we don't really understand how God the Son uh, died on that cross in, in terms of taking the punishment for our sin fully, how that affected the deity, uh, his day, his day, the God side of Jesus Christ. Um, what we do know is that what scripture teaches uh, and you know sometimes you know we, we can't fully understand it. it's not illogical you know it's not impossible I asked the engineering student is it possible that God dwelt in a man is it possible that God the Son died on the cross and he said yes it, it's not impossible and from a biblical perspective it's, it's saying that it is possible that it happened but the point is this is that you can't get away from the Bible what it teaches about Jesus it teaches that he was human he wept but it teaches that he was God and he was a hundred percent God and he was a hundred percent man and the two go together and it's two natures in one and it's a mystery it's a mystery even in science in physics there's a boundary of the unknowable there's mystery when we come to infinity there's always going to be mystery and we shouldn't be ashamed to say that uh, a, a reformed friend of mine who I respect and love dearly who said he's not convinced by that <laughs> but it's the only explanation that we can give that our minds is too vast too great for our minds to comprehend how God came became flesh and dwelt amongst us it's beyond our mind okay let's go back to John chapter 1 so we've looked at uh, that uh, Jesus is God if you look at uh, John chapter 1 it says in the beginning was the word so the word was in the beginning and the word was with God and the word was God so the word is God now that word is Christ okay the word with has the idea of intimate connection intimate relationship okay so let's look at verse 4 and 5 in him was the life and the light was the life of man so we've looked at jesus is god second jesus is the light of the world verse 4 and 5 in him was the life and the life was the light of man and the light shineth in darkness and the darkness commanded it not so christ is the light of the world we see that in john chapter 8 verse 12. john 8 verse 12 then spoke Jesus again unto them, saying, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. Light is warm. Light is direction. Uh, John 3.19. John 3.19. Right. And this is the condemnation that light is come into the world, and men love darkness rather than the light, and their deeds were evil. John 12.46. John 12 46 I am the light of the world I have come I have come a light sorry I am come a light into the world that whosoever believeth on me shall not abide in darkness so if you want to see light if you want to see the life of God you see Christ one writer said it is not perhaps too much to say that not a simple word could have been altered in the first five verses of St. John's Gospel without opening up some door to heresy. In other words, the first five verses are so important that if you got any of those verse words wrong, you would open yourself up to heresy. You know. So Jesus is the light of the world. If you want to know who God is, you want to know why you're here, what the purpose is, you want to understand the meaning of life, he's the light that will shine and give you hope. And then verse four and five, Jesus is not only God, Jesus is not only light, Jesus is life. And verse 4 and 5 again. In him was life, life, and the life was the light of man, and the light shineth in the darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. So he's the life. He's the one that gives us life. If you turn to 1 John chapter 5, verse 11, not John, but 1 John, the letter John, 1 John 5. Verse 11, and this is the record that God has given to us eternal life, and this life is in his Son. 
if you turn to John 10:10, 10, 10, uh, the Gospel of John, John 10:10, 10, 10. we read these words: um, "The thief cometh not to, the thief cometh not, but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. I have come that they might have life, that they might have it more abundantly. There's no life in drugs. There's no life in violence. There's no life in in living." Uh, for yourself, but there is life in Christ. Yeah. Let's turn to John fourteen six.